Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead or Let's Play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia and in this episode we're going to destroy this Marathon incursion on, on our shores. Uh, they have not sent full stack against us. We have been able to deploy uh, a full army of our own to defend the city and then push out and attack. So let's take them out. They have a lot of cavalry. Uh, not very much artillery and not a huge amount in the way of infantry beyond melee infantry. So let's bring them to battle and then destroy them and then uh, we also want to build up forces to attack the Marathas to teach them what it means to declare war on us in such a manner. Uh, we The priority is still Britain but I think once we've, as we've got, we've got enough forces in Ireland to push the British Isles, uh, Lisbon is able to produce enough armies to push North Africa so right now the American production can go towards um, sad, uh, claiming the rest of the territory for the, the theatre uh, plus sending armies to Africa no not Africa, India so let's unlimber the guns I don't want to fight in the town because that suits their melee based approach uh, more than my firepower based approach. I will have my grenadiers closer to the town just in case. Let's group my infantry together. Radio, there we go. In just a second everyone. Um, right, native warrior infantry will be to the west. All of my cavalry, well, all of my cav cavalry will be on the right. Make sure my native tribal did a fire at will off. Okay, let's push up with our the left flank of our formation hard against the edge of the town. Let's run my cavalry up on mass, then run the rest of my infantry up. My native warriors can be up on the left. My artillery is engaging their artillery, which is perfectly fine for the time being. Send some of my cavalry to engage, but send another chunk of my cavalry off to pursue the enemy. These units are all going to be fire at will off. What was that noise? Someone outside with a chainsaw or something. It sounds like a a forlorn horn of some description. No, don't shoot. You men engage the horsemen, but be ready. These units form square. their Hindu warriors so let's keep an eye on where they go push my general out okay let's advance with my left flank okay, the lances are committed okay right cavalry pull back because the melee troops have come in. This square fire at will, because they might put some fire into the back of this lancer formation. There we go. Let's get my cavalry out of the way. Get these units out of square, ready to receive infantry. Colonial Dragoons are wavering. Keep my cavalry running. Yep, my infantry are going to be... My cavalry are going to be in an awkward spot, but we're also going to be able to knock out their horsemen. Pull the cavalry out. New men about face, pull the infantry back. Cavalry 
cavalry just run, fall back. Just run. You're not trying to fight them. Let's get our howitzers to engage Hindu warriors. Run back over here. Let's cavalry come back to engage the Hindu warrior unit charging in. Commit the line infantry. My grenadiers push up to provide a barrier to protect my cavalry. You men charge the Hindu warriors. Bodyguard back there. Engage them with my foot artillery. Here are my native warriors are going to crash into the back of the dervishes. We've broken one Hindu warrior unit. Push on into the dervishes. More howitzers. Also engage the general's bodyguard. Grenadiers about face. Push the light horse on. I think we've got some good kills on the general's bodyguard. Artillery's, yeah, we've managed to cut them down. Run this cavalry back in to attack the dervishes. This is going to be a bit of a bit of a bloodbath. Run my melee infantry across the line but as a result push my infantry ahead of it ahead of the ahead of the uh, those chaps running get my cavalry out of the way bring them towards my grenadiers we'll consider engage the hindu musketeers Colonial line form up. Generally, I got I just got a bit too aggressive with them. The infantry charge the Hindu warriors. Good old bit of fisticuffs. My grenadiers will make short work of them. Cavalry. Well, the cavalry is largely already committed. You men push around and then collide into the Hindu warriors. Excellent, they're shattered. Keep on attacking. Continue, ceasefire the artillery. Let's get the general involved. Keep them under attack. Excellent. Keep attacking the unit of dervishes. There we go. They're killed. They've been destroyed. Focus on the 49th Dakili of the Hindu Musketeers. Let's focus on these fellows because they're only down to 13 men, so you might actually be able to take them out. Three left. Down to two, one, zero. So who's back here? These gunners. Well, the gunners are dealt with. It's now just these fellows. 
15 left. This cavalry, they should be no trouble to defeat. Excellent. First battle. <laughs> First battle of the this recording session. So, as is tradition, it's very bloody. Back they go with very few men. So let's push out a little bit. Form up. Then we've also got this up here, Agvituk, and also the, well, this sieging here is okay. Let's try and um, break out of the siege. A lot of colonial troops, colonial recruitment here, we should be fine. Let's push them back. They have another army to the east, but if we can defeat this army, replenish, then the next army is more than welcome to push on as well. And then we will capture Newfoundland, maybe the army that captured Newfoundland, they may sail to India to invade Ceylon. I believe that will be it's usually quite a good jumping off point for invading India. How it says engage. We have a wide selection of infantry. We have got a very good cavalry force. Let's deploy in the middle of this zone here. We will not be looking to defend, we are looking to attack. Actually, I might put my artillery park here. No, nope, pretty bad, actually. Sit at the back, keep the native troops there. Light cavalry and ranged cavalry group then together. Curacier on the left, general in the centre. Bada bing, bada boom. Push everybody up. In the curious, yeah, uh, the Howards folk on the Hessian line. Okay, the the regular colonial cavalry, colonial lights, they can trot rather than run. So you put a volley into this. Light cavalry. Form square. Push my skirmish cavalry up. Excellent. So we're set up quite nicely. The first light horse have been broken. Get my American infantrymen into position. Artillery just open fire as they wish. Hello, colonial like how have engaged the native musketman auxiliary. Hello, colonial militia trying to sneak up on us, eh? So, Bowman Auxiliary and more Bowman Auxiliary. Get this cavalry over here as well. Engage. Push the Cressier up. The centre of the line will break when it hits our line. They won't be able to... to uh, we better handle the amount of firepower we can put out. Yeah, that upset they've been attacked in the flank. This light cavalry may go down relatively quickly. If you can knock out the irregulars quickly, that should be not a problem. Get my crossier in against the militia. That means I can take this block of infantry and bypass them. Yeah, 
Broken, 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 broken. The general bodyguards coming in to help out up here. The Bowman Auxiliary is shaken. I mean, this is a bit dicey for us. They can sustain their casualties in a way that we... I mean, we can in the long term. Yeah, there goes our tribal auxiliary are wavering. He was charging uphill against a entrenched enemy. Let's try to get you guys out of there. Yeah, the Curious, yeah, are winning decisively. Bring these units back to safety. More engagements against the shoot of native Bowman Auxiliary. Get my tribal auxiliary back in the line, but with their uh, muskets ready to rock and roll. These American infantry mercenaries will help provide extra firepower. I'm surprised they held out for that long, to be honest. Good for them. A great angle against these guys. Getting a couple of kills. You're gonna march right up into their face. Something like this. Excellent. Engage the native musketman auxiliary. Woods artillery bombard this unit of mission line that's dug in. So then shattered, chase down the native Bowman Auxiliary, pivot these guys back into the line. They get a good hit into the flank of the 2nd Regiment of Militia. The geography no longer provides cover for them. You have to advance up, and up against the shooter Christian line in the same manner. Advance and fill the gap. Push the cuirassier past the Hessian line, see if we can get them to pivot. 21st Regiment is going down. Let's get everyone pivoting and pushing against the threat. Don't allow them to regroup. Excellent. You go to work against the enemy general. The 88th and the 80th are in a good position to put some shots into the 59th. My howitzers, they can sink some shots in as well. We're getting ready to engage, but they have broken. The general's bodyguard is shattered as well. We got a ceasefire of the artillery. It's only a matter of time before that unit breaks. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, let's continue. Why not? We've not got our general committed into the action yet, but that's okay. I mean, we can try, but I think they're a bit too far out. See if we can get some native Bowman auxiliary knocked out. Let's collectively try and knock out the 21st Regiment of the Militia. Obviously it's not the best unit to go for, but they've not really got elites that we have to, or that we want to worry about, so... Ah, oh, I misclicked. Oh well, still it's a good victory. We defended our city, pushed them back, they have a thousand men remaining. 
Schwaber auxiliary right up top. They lost a lot of men. Back you go. This army replenish. Oh yeah, and also go back down to Colombia, Cuba, because Cuba is no longer exempted from tax. Apologies to the guy who keeps uh, commenting about this. I would read it and then rem and think. I would kind of think to myself, oh, I've got to make sure I do that, and then I would just kind of forget. <laughs> and, well, because I would say I would read on a Tuesday, say, and by the time recording come around, I would forget. So, sorry about that, but there we go. Um, okay, so you've got you. You're likely to push as well, Wilbur Butler. We're not going to push, we're going to just take the hits as we see them. Two rakes up here. Very much not needed. Put them both in. We're not going to try and assassinate the, the commander yet. Um, but we are going to attack Plaisance with Inigo Lechiona, who is a very good general. Let's attack largely native troops. Um, they're going to be hidden. We're going to storm forward, take the city, and they are not going to be able to respond at all. That's going to be quite a good outcome for us, I think. Yes, storm, capture, and then invest, because they don't even they don't even have uh, dirt roads. They have non-existent track. Okay, artillery up on this high ground on the left, although it's likely to not have a super important role. We are going to push towards the town. So put my grenadiers up front and centre. Four infantry plus a militia. Push one flank. Four infantry plus militia. Push the left. A couple of infantry units as reserve. Infantry unit plus general on each flank to simply push. So my generals are gonna, my grenadiers are gonna seek to push right into the center. On formation, correct formation. We're gonna conduct a full frontal assault. Nothing clever, nothing fancy. We are just going to push. Put artillery engage the tribal auxiliary howitzers. You can attempt to continue suppressing the mortars. Because the grenadiers are under fire. Push, push, push. They have native troops somewhere. Let's speed up time. Because right now everyone's just storming in. The cavalry's advancing up the flanks nicely. We haven't managed to make them pop quite yet. The U men are storm up and engage from the front. Infantry is going to push the enemy flank. Begin walking, try reclaim some stamina. Aha! Native warrior auxiliary, flee from them, attack the tribal auxiliary. Put artillery engage the armed citizenry. Grenadiers go straight in. 29th Regiment, push forward and attack their mortars. Howitzers cease fire. They're pivoting to uh, face the threat. Nope, engage the 70th right in front of you. Next 
Excellent. Push the Grenadiers out. Secure the line. Push out something like this. Excellent. Push this infantry behind this line here to act as a bit of a reserve. They're going to get um, smacked by the enemy infantry. Push up aggressively. Engage. That's why I want my grand ears up front. You men push to secure the right flank. Where's my general? Let's get him in over here. Howitzers and foot artillery cease fire. Okay, run my cavalry out of the way. Okay, you men engage. Engage the native troops. Give one unit break. Let's try and make another unit break. There it is. Form line for battle. If they want to get involved in a traditional infantry fight, they are welcome to. Range, engage this unit of irregulars. There we go, pivot into the flank. You're still here, burning on militia, but I don't know if I, I wager you will not be here for long. Push two units in to engage with the bayonet. Hmm, they're broken. It's just this native bowman auxiliary unit that's holding against us. There we go. You fools, you fought for the wrong side. You should have broken when you had the chance. Excellent. We're getting quite a bloody one because it's fighting through the town. So that's kind of to be expected. But there we go. Place onto secured. Let's repair the government building. Let's replenish the troops. Let's get the roads built. Let's get the port repaired. Let's get the farms upgraded. Got College of Divinity, so let's break that. With a British minister, so we're going to probably end up... See, they can cross the strait. Cool. In which case, the new guys are just going to run along, cross here, and try and kill that preacher. Those are lots of the immediate things to deal with. So the island has been secured. We are enticing them to try and attack us near Gibraltar. Let's okay back to the Americas. Okay, so you're ready. You're able to be used for something. You're going to recruit twelve pounder, twenty-four pounder howitzer, plus a household cavalry unit, plus a. Light Dragoon unit. Start to start to build up an army, so that'll be two two decent forces to send against uh, the Marathas and take Ceylon. And actually, you might be able to take Ceylon and invade Calcutta and solidify that, because the British presence is likely to not be that big. Attacking General. This guy's he's offensive. My god, at the age of 35. The Happy Drinker. Frontiersman. Drillmaster, brave soldier, confident general, attacking general. He is good. One more turn to steam engines and that's going to suck up loads of our cash. 
steam engine upgrades. They're very expensive, but my god are they worthwhile. That's an army that's been that's been recruited from Copenhagen. Or oh, they're gonna send an army against us somewhere. They're gonna exchange duties, they're gonna let the full stack come after us now. That's their prerogative. Let's see how well it works. So there goes Austria. They appear to... I mean, they've got a good hold on most of the British Isles. The Ottomans haven't really expanded out. They have done... I don't think they've expanded as such. But they've managed to maintain their gains. Or maintain their territory. So Sweden is on the march. They're attacking Britain, which is useful for us. And they're also raiding Russia, which is ambivalent for us. 58,000. So you men are going to destroy the garrison in our sugar mill. And we're going to repair it. And then we're going to get ready to be just bombarded with hammers. To just upgrade absolutely everything we got. Yeah, steam-powered cloth mills and so on. Investment begins in South America. Like a punda, steam-powered sugar mill, steam-powered cloth mill. Let's see, it's expensive, but it's going to be super worthwhile. Now our economy starts to boom. So we're still raiding. May or may not impact the troops that are brought to bear. Next turn they'll have to attack us regardless. I mean, last time it didn't matter. Take advance. Steam engines, you've gone to steam pumped land drainage, which I'm okay with. We're at the point where we've got just so much more money than we can actually spend. Got a craft workshop. So you're all replenishing. Let's bring the agent over here. You're still replenishing. Lots of light infantry, lots of cavalry. It's not a bad army, but no artillery. All royal. Let's get some roads, and then let's hop back over to Europe. Minus one. They should be okay with that. Let's see if we can do some reconnaissance. Okay, they've got a depleted army, plus a reasonable strength army under Ulysses Cooper. And everyone's currently being... Ooh, that's actually a Royal Navy fleet in here. Shannon, Gustav, Densor, Scepter, Diomede, Namalin, Triumph, and Ariel. Ooh, Goodwin Plummer's got the victory. I'll oh, have to deal with them. I mean, no bones about it. Let's just go full blown. No, oh, <laughs> see, full blown first race. One. Caribbean Sea Confederation. Yeah, you're all recruiting. Your recruitment's still going on well. And you need to hold here as my full as my uh, full power fleet in being. You need to replenish. You could also attack India, I would wager. I'm just keeping an eye on what's going on here. Let's get this galleon back up towards the more trade-focused areas. Okay, 950. Austria and United Provinces are at war. Sweden and Great Britain are at war, but we were aware of that already. B 
But yes, I am definitely going to want to secure HMS Victory. Come on, Britain, you're going to try and secure Gibraltar. Ah, oh, opportunity to intercept. They're going to go after my galleon. Order is off. <laughs> bye bye. Bloop. I think they lost against the Swedish Navy. Ooh, hello. Landing troops off of Dublin. Interesting. In, ooh, yes, I do want to intercept, because they'll have to attack me... Um, attack me with no artillery. So, yes. A good old-fashioned fort defence. By God, it's been a while. So we're probably not going to have to defend a breach. Well, we would, well, there aren't any breaches. We could make one, but we likely don't need to. Normally you want to make a breach if you've got a significant enemy army you can't really deal with. Whereas this is eminently dealable. So my howitzers can be used... Cavalry can't really be used as is. Let's take all the infantry out. And then say, right, native regular musketman up top. Okay, put one unit on each gun position first. I mean, not the entire way around, because they won't get entire the entire way around. Cool, that's a couple of units in reserve. Although they'll probably need to be sat, sat on the walls, like so. So they're already up here. Artillery's going to do good work. I mean, all of the batteries are opening up. Oops. Curious, yeah. Let's get you guys inside. She's carcass shot for my howitzers because it's poor man's quick climb. Colonial militia. Yeah, lots of, there are lots of troops around. But as they start to get closer, they're going to get hit by the hit by the musketry and sent scuttling back. That's one unit wavering that's under carcass shot fire. Light company has been broken. New units gone, so now I'm going to start focusing on the other troops. This concentration can start getting under artillery fire as they make it around the side of the city. He just slammed a shot right into the middle of the 65th. Back you devils! try and whip around the flanks and that oh this unit's got obliterated by carcass shot perfect it looks like 
The enemy is in a very bad spot. Let's start to try and hit these guys with carcass shot. Yeah, 15th are broken, 37th. They're going to be on their, their way soon. Defending forts, man, it's dangerous. Well, attacking forts is dangerous. I guess the 56th, they're broken. If they don't hurry up, they might get a bit of a carcass shot on them. They've made it up on top of one of the one of the walls, but they're under a significant amount of fire. Native Bowman Auxiliary, Musketman Auxiliary, not the not your stormtroopers that you would prefer to have. Colonial militia aren't terrible. Yeah, there goes the 51st, or soon. There they go. You yeah, attack the native bone auxiliary broke. But these are regulars, they're trying to scale the wall. This is not a fantastic set of circumstances for them. Oh, excellent hit with a carcass shot. So they may have scaled the walls in two places, but never under threat. And by the time we take these guys out, these guys aren't even pushing, they're just going to hold, so when these guys uh, finish their engagement against the Hessian line, well these engage, these finish the engagement against the native auxiliary, one or the other. Third seventh wants scale, but they have to stand there and get punished by constant withering fire. Bit of friendly fire. That's a lot of kills. There they go. Excellent. Now you men just fire at will. Form up and get ready to respond. So if you men, they might not be able to fire at will because so these guys are on the wall. They may want to try and shoot here. Same way these guys are not manning the fire step. Give them a volley. Don't go over the edge. Excellent. So now the 65th coming back. Let's wait for the 37th to break before we come back. And the 81st are going to give them some hurt. Parker shot gets some good hits. Then on again. The 82nd have formed up. Poor new men. Give them a volley. Good hits. Man the fire step again. Let's 
24th of Broken. The infantry is still your arcing shots to try and go after the 77th. Swiss to round shot, can you hit the. You can hit the Troy Auxiliary. But this force is done for. Reload! Excellent shot. Looks like they're going to make it up here, though. as well so the battle should be over because there's no way for them to get in and I could push my cavalry on there but should I it's a bit cheeky let's put a tribal auxiliary unit up out front let's see if they decide to charge because it's the only enemy they can target on the map advance them towards the general's bodyguard. Hello? Give them a volley. Then withdraw. Withdraw to the protection of the city walls. If they break, it's fine. <laughs> Just wanted to see what was... see what the deal was. Get the Cossier in just to make sure they don't take advantage of the open walls. Excellent. Let's push my Cossier outside of the walls to go after the general. Hello. Stay near the walls, but under their protective umbrella. Oh, they decided and actually no, let's not carry on. Excellent. Or it might have been when the last infantry unit fled the map. Potentially. Yep, you guys have taken a hammering. Reconstitute your forces and have another go. Oh, there go the Dutch. Barely knew ye. We really need Spain to not fail, because Spain is the only thing that's keeping uh, Lisbon alive. If Spain falls, then there's probably going to be a lot of Austrian troops because they're going to be flooding across Spain. So they'll have to spend a bunch of uh, capital building forces to defend that territory. Yeah, you're going to pay for what you did, you treacherous swine. We're going to send people to invade your homeland, see how you like it. Although those islands aren't really our homeland. Well, more our homeland than Spain's. Uh, no. No alliance, because you're enemies with Norway, and I don't like that. Power, mighty, wealth, meagre. <laughs> we have a large army, just. <laughs> I think that's how that ends up being summed up. Yes, raiding, trade route raided, complete destroyed. I mean, again, that was just one ship. Okay, let's send you guys down here. Where's that? Where's that British fleet? 
They may have gone, so let's claim the trade post. And then I'll send... Send this force out to cure it. Send, let's get Sea Adler out. Coon Admiral Christoph Help. Let's get Galleons out. So you have attempted to try and retake this island. Brave, but foolish. Let's get my do a bunch of spending first. Hop back up north. Replenish the army again. Right soon. Texas is kind of the worst place to spend a bunch of money right now, but what the hey. Let's. Okay, so. You are ready. We have this army that is ready. Go to India. We have this force as well. Which is able to pick up the garrison at Newfoundland. Which is replenished itself. Could do with heavy cavalry, but it can get that when it's over there. Sail over to India. Europe itself. We we took Gibraltar because they did not want to defend it, which means we're probably going to want to attack Paul Halley. So that entire army that was garrisoning the city has been destroyed. Yeah, they're building a good navy here in Spain. Can I send a ship around to raid Glasgow? Okay, you've got an army there and an army in the city. Six pound of horse artillery. Let's move you across. Well, let's attack this army outside Glasgow first. So we can destroy them, then potentially move on towards Edinburgh. Lots of skirmish cavalry. Lots of... Well, you've got a unit of the green jackets, which... Uh, you may may be able to observe I'm quite I quite like with my name and my symbol. So all the artillery is gonna focus on not on the enemy artillery, it's gonna focus on their skirmish cavalry. Their artillery will be destroyed in good order with an advance by our infantry. But their cavalry could be a bit more frustrating. My general will stay behind, he's a bit green. And limber, form up. Although it looks like they're coming right at me. This is the heavy cavalry. Horse cuirassier guards, light cavalry, sharpshooters. Yeah, just hold. They're coming at us. Get ready to open up. Oh, they just shot a bunch of their own guys. Spot on. So form square. Deal with the rest of them. No, nope, they've they've stepped down. We're engaging their raw Cassia guards. Get ready to deploy my dragoons down to pursue. A lot of my cavalry swing them in quite dramatically. 
My light cavalry will pursue them because they are wounded. I mow down a bunch of my own infantry, but I don't mind. Storm forward. Howitzers oh, engage the sharpshooters. You engage these sharpshooters. Huckle guns, general's bodyguard. There's riflemen around here somewhere. Okay, they're shattered. The light dragoons are coming back. Engage my native warrior flank. Push up. And the British grenadiers. Yes, they are winning slightly. They believe. They go the cold stream guards. They broke almost immediately. Push the infantry up. Push the skirmish units up. Cavalry go after the general's bodyguard. There's a unit of riflemen around here somewhere. The grenadiers are getting the getting fired by rank to Helen back now. Ah, there's a couple of their hidden units, blunderbuss shotguns and so on. They let us withdraw. There's the fifth light foot, the raw green jackets, or just the green jackets for now. Ferguson riflemen. Well, let's see how they deal with a bunch of angry native warriors. So they'll do pretty well, actually. Wavering. Come on, men. Ah. Those accurate skirmishers they managed to I managed to turn back my brave native warriors. Uh, you guys just attack the light foot. It may come back. Nope, my guys have charged through them. <laughs> okay, regardless of what's happening there. Push the troops up, let these guys engage the blend of a shotgunners. They've shot into the combat, which has kind of backfired. Although it might actually help them. Yeah, don't. Okay, maybe let's pull you guys back. and bayonet charge the 25th light foot. Howitzers engage the green jackets. Oh hey! Let's pursue. So the general's committed but he's been shot in the back by his own rifleman. Cavalry is upset. Oh, uh, yeah, it's probably our own artillery. Focus our artillery on the green jackets to the rear. Native War Auxiliary and General Bodyguard advance. Oh, bowmen are getting. Crashed by volley fire. Learn your dragoons back up. You're going to be within range of my infantry, so you better 
Load those rifles as fast as you can, because you're about to get a lot of firepower heading your way, buster. Pursue the general through the stakes. There we go. Artillery fire and musket fire. That'll see that. They couldn't handle that, and they're shattered. There we go. Short bloody action. But a victory nonetheless. I'm not going to pursue. We're going to let them run back to Edinburgh. Then we're going to lay siege to the city. And then... Oh, we're not quite within range. You men replenish. And lay siege to the city. See what's done here. Yeah, they have some troops that may come to help. Should be okay though. Are you all going to try and assassinate this general, Anthony Thornhill? Les espera la muerte. Missed him. Yeah, Ireland was on strike, but now they can deal with us. Let's take Mr. Serrano. Get into the city itself and then attack Anthony Thornhill directly. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we continue to cleanse the British Isles of the British. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>